Visit, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Look at this, Lou. How are you? Two Lou's in one screen. How you oh doing? Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> nice to see you. I haven't seen you in such a long you time. You too, and I owe you a phone Good call, morning. by the way. Good morning to you. Yeah. I'm yeah. here too, oh. Lou. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was so worried when you said coming up is a big something. I'm like, I'm not that big, but huh. we're talking about something else, so that's good. Um, All right, so what are we talking about? Garage doors. We are. Okay. And, you know, uh, there's a lot of companies out there that will come and do a little tune-up, which is mm -hmm. great if that's something you want to do. But um, And, and I'm going to give you some advice on things that you can do. And one thing I don't want you to touch. So let's talk about your garage door. You know, a lot of us... Uh, use the garage door as our front door, right? We come in, we can put the car in there, and then we go inside. And sometimes it doesn't work, it gets stuck, or it hangs up or whatever. And I have a few tips to help you figure out how to do that on your own to get it to work. First are these uh, safety eyes. Make sure that they're clean and they're pointing at each other. There's two of them at the base. Use a broom or something, even your hand, to get cobwebs, anything that's blocking it. Do the other side as well. Many times there's a little light that'll be green, a tally light, to say that they're showing the same way. The safety release chain. This is a, a little thing in case you run out of power, you have to get out. You pull this and it unlocks the door. And then what I want you to do is manually hold the door and move it up and down. If you can do that freely, that's a good thing. But if it's hanging up and you notice it's really hard to tug, by going back up and forth. It might be a problem with what's called the torsion spring that's on top of the door. This is something I don't want you to mess with and it's only should be done professionally because that is dangerous if you start messing with that. But mm. that needs to be adjusted by a professional up top. Now, something else is the track. A lot of people are like, oh, the door doesn't work and they spray oil in the track. Huge mistake because that actually holds dirt. Just take some dishwashing soap and a damp rag and clean the track with a rag. You're probably gonna throw that rag away because it's gonna be filled with grease when you're done. Mm -hmm. And get that nice and clean. And finally, those rollers. Again, I don't want you to oil the rollers. This is a lightweight oil that I really like called Superzilla. It's actually bio-based, does not attract dirt. Just spray the pins that the mm -hmm. rollers are on. That's it, just mm -hmm. the pin. And that will kind of soak in there and allow it to go back and forth. And finally, there is an up and down pressure on your garage door opener. You can increase the force or decrease it. But if you increase it, look, it's got to hit your shoulder, bounce back up, and not oh. be too much pressure on you. Now, if you don't want to hold your shoulder there like I did, you could take a basketball and put it down at the bottom. And the minute it touches that, you've got Lourdes, a little beautiful girl. You don't want anything to no. happen uh, with little kids there. The protective eye, if they run across it, will make the door go back up or if there's something that's an obstruction for some reason, then it'll bounce back up. Those little adjustments can make your garage door work a lot better. Okay, I've written all these things down so that my husband can do them. Thank you very much, Lou. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> all right, and you can listen to Lou's How Smarts radio show on WGN Radio on Saturdays from 6 to 10 a.m. And you can also subscribe to his YouTube channel for videos on how to maintain your home.